Yeah, it's that time again. Welcome back to your Easy Achievers Gaming Podcast for the week of uh, October 16th. I'm one of your hosts, Elijah, sitting across from me virtually, of course. Alex. Hello. Hi. What have you been up to since the last week? Um, watching shows, playing some games, just the usual. Um, we finished The Boys. Yes, we did. That was phenomenal. Um, we're definitely doing a podcast just dedicated to that, because that was insane. Plenty of twists. It was just a really good show. No, yeah, like, yeah, like from start to finish, I was, whew, I was invested. I was very nice. Mm. That was so fun. Now, we're going to jump right into this today. I have the PS5 UI introduction loaded up on the screen so i'm ready to get into it so let's go ahead and get this started all right so i got the ui this was released yesterday was the actual ui uh shown off oh no it was this morning correct well, te- yeah, technically yeah it was this morning it was technically this morning i don't know why it's dated for yesterday but it's this morning it was this morning and they just show off the new ui for ps5 so we're gonna jump down into it i did turn the audio off so we didn't have to really we don't have to really listen to it it's really a guy just describing what's going on um but we'll interject every now and then so of course right here we got plus ps5 button so this is what's gonna greet you when you start your system um let's skip ahead and of course the normal sign in right just your little bubble and then this is when it gets a little different so correct me if i'm wrong Alex. these are cards this is what these are called um and these cards do uh, different things and they're just i believe just up there right like there's not a reason right they just appear i mean i would think so i mean we don't know too much about it yeah i don't think we have like concrete proof on what these are but i know they're cards i know they're shown for specific reasons like screenshot and like we see the trophy progression i think is what's being shown here or maybe just specifically the level but i'm pretty sure these are the trophies for the level um and then they get into uh they stick on these cards for a long time give me a second okay and then they just show off like what the cards can do and what you can use these uh, i'd like to think of these as um what was it on xbox alex like uh I guess the notification bar thing that pops out when you like sit your controller down for a while. It's kind of like that. You're talking about that, th- that like that, uh, the, the thing that comes up on the side? Mm hmm. Yeah. This is kind of like that, but in a way that's actually on your screen. Um, this looks like, in my opinion, it looks like just things I'm going to like be skipping. I don't think I'll actually be paying attention to any of this. Um, and of course, they just show off a little bit of a little big planet here. By the way, it looks adorable. Love it. Mm-hmm. All uh, right, and then this is just details of the game apparently and as far as i understand if you're a playstation plus member you get in-game hints so in this little i guess you could say box right here you'll essentially be given hints if you're a playstation plus member and you can bring this up and it'll show you like specific objectives if you need help with something you can click on it and it'll tell you like hey the hint the hint is this and it'll give you a hint yeah it's kind of cool i did i do remember faintly there was like a uh patent for this a long time ago and it looks like it's being used now uh so they finally found a use for it um oh and there's something right there complete a big adventure without losing a life and then grab and it it goes away but i'm assuming that's for a trophy or some sort of challenge that you can get like a guide on there's sack boy's big dumb face you love it um anyway oh that's kind of cool it tells you how long the level is that's kind of cool it just says 10 minutes um there's another hint another hint uh oh and then that's just showing off the share or no sorry create button i believe um oh no no this is when he attaches the hint so you can kind of picture and picture a hint um similar to xbox snap back in the day i miss i miss xbox snap but um 
Um, oh, Alex, you'll love this. So <laughs> this is totally non secular. Nothing to do with what we're doing. But um, I was playing OG Destiny with a couple friends um, in our Destiny 2 clan. And I was playing Destiny 1. And I went over to the friends list to invite them to the fire team or whatever. On the top of the friends list, it says um, uh, snap friends list uh, as an option on the game. And that just like made me like smile. I was like, oh, my God. Oh, yeah, I was like, that's like a little snapshot of time. Like, geez, that's not even a thing anymore. <laughs> like, it's uh, that sucks that it's still there, too. Um, and then this uh, pops up. Uh, it's basically a voice chat message. Um, we're at about five minutes in Alex if you still need to get with us but uh yeah this is basically I believe the new party invites and as far as I understand the party is not a chat anymore it's more of an evolution of a chat plus like a discord group uh, if that makes sense out so like if me and you want a party Right, we can always have we can always have a party and we can share things to the party. So I can like show you like, hey, I unlocked the trophy in Miles Morales for eating five cupcakes, and I can share that with you as just a party share rather than sending a, di a direct message to you. And let's say we have another PlayStation friend that's also in that party; he can also see that. Yeah. So kind of cool. It sounds like a chat room almost now, uh, rather than just just a full on party. So it looks like they're trying to evolve into more of a kind of make it more interactive. yeah more interactive more what's the word i'm looking for like a, a group defining you know like you have your group and you can kind of chat with all your friends at all times almost like a discord on the system yeah yeah you can make a community um and then this is more of <laughs> that made me smile so it says you can either picture in picture of course or you can pin to the side you know, trying very hard not to say snap to the side. We're going to pin it to the side. Uh, and then they go back to the actual UI. Um, I didn't go over this before, but uh, if you look at the bottom here, this all looks exactly the same on what we have now almost. Um, home screen, the actual game, the little bell notification where I assume it's like, hey, you got a trophy or you got an invite to this game. Then your friends. Oh, go ahead. Um, I do like the share screen thing. So, for example, let's say if I'm playing... Dark Souls or uh, Demon Souls, right? And you're playing Miles Morales, and you're like, "Hey, I just did. Uh, there's this cool uh, fight scene I'm doing. You can, I can, you can share your screen, and I can just pin it to the side as I'm playing Demon Souls, and I can watch you play." So I like. Oh, I missed that. That's very cool. Yeah, so literally, there's a. Um, he was uh, playing. He was watching uh, somebody play Uncharted Lost Legacy. Right. And you can picture and picture it, and it, it, it's just showing the screen. Oh, so that's what we just looked at. I missed that in the presentation. I must have not been paying attention. But yeah, no, this is really cool. You could just share share your screen. <laughs> that's really cool. If you like, want to watch a friend do this hard run or something, that's that's a that's a great idea. And it's cool because it doesn't take your whole screen. Because last time, I yeah, had to share a screen, or I would have to stop what I'm doing and watch them. But instead, it's just like together. What's funny is we've been asking for this forever for Xbox. I mean, at least me and Alex. Um, I haven't really heard a, a lot of the community ask for it, but, but me and Alex for sure have been asking for picture-in-picture, side-by-side picture, side snap in, in any form coming back. And it's funny that PlayStation is the one bringing it back, which kind of makes me sad. Um, and then they move on to Destruction All-Stars, which is like share the game, I would say. You know what I mean, Alex? Like This looks like the game that you play just to be able to share crazy stuff. Oh, for sure. Um, I just want to see this lady jump again. This lady's crazy. I'm still not entirely sure what this game even is, <laughs> if I'm being completely honest. So as, as far as I understand, you're, it, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of, do you remember in Dead Rising 2 that they had that mode where you could, uh, the, you were the guy who was on a motorcycle and you had chainsaws on both sides? Yeah. You would drive through zombies? For some reason, this reminds me of that. But like if you mixed it with Rocket League and had to made it cute. That's what that's what this is. Um, it, yeah, for sure. And then he just talks a lot, if I'm being honest. Uh, and then he just shows off some of the aspects of uh, when you when you like view a game, what it shows off. Um, and then this reminds me of uh, this Explore page here. Like this reminds me of just the Xbox Explore page, like when they're just showing stuff off. Most likely you'll ignore it 
<laughs> I think everyone will ignore this screen. Um, but if you want to, you can, of course, look through. There's probably be trailers and things like that. Um, and then the PlayStation Store, uh, uh, they added this kind of bottom row to most likely showcase recent games or top games. Um, and then they, they did, I believe they did say the PlayStation Store is now an app and not ingrained into the system. So I'm guessing that's going to help it run better. I uh, be honest, I don't know how that works. Maybe it's the opposite. Maybe I misheard, but I'm pretty sure they said it's an app now. So it's going to be uh, at least quicker. Everything says it's going to be quicker and move faster. So that's exciting if all that's true. And then he always felt like it's an app anyway. Yeah, but I think I mean, hopefully they worked on their speed, right? Um, Because my big thing with PlayStation is just I feel like everything is slow. Like, I feel like every every time I go to do something, uh, it takes way longer than it has to. Like, just viewing a trophy. Like, just the simple act of looking at a trophy. I feel like I have to go through three loading screens just to look at that. And on Xbox, I can just click achievement, click achievement, and I'm I'm open. That's one, just one load, and I'm on an achievement. So, hopefully that's fixed. Hopefully all this is a lot quicker. Um, apparently you'll be able to share, you know, like Twitter, like all, all you can now. And it basically ends with him telling you what I told you. You can share it to specific parties now, like chat rooms and stuff. And then, um, they end it with the little look of, uh, putting your PS5 into rest mode. Cause if you don't do that, it's going to scream at you. Do you think Alex, we're going to, um, get that same message where it scolds you if you don't turn it completely off without taking out the power cord? Yeah, we're gonna. I'm. I'm excited to see what that screen because I get that screen all of the time. <laughs> I don't know why, but I get it all of the time. I feel like I'm reading that screen constantly. But that is the UI. Be honest, we didn't get much, and to be honest, the parts that we got, I was kind of like whatever about. Um, I will give my quick impressions, and then Alex, you can take up whatever I, if I miss something. But let me see if I can find like the full just picture of the UI again. Just so I could talk about what it looks like. Um, I don't think they have it, but I mean, I could be wrong. I don't see PlayStation doing anything uh, remotely close to having a quick resume. I don't think they can or have figured out how to do that. Um, I was just thinking, I was like, I wonder if they're going to try to do the quick resume feature. I w- I really enjoy that. I'm positive they're looking into it. I'm positive that... They were they were most likely blindsided in that and weren't thinking that that was probably an option. So I am guaranteed that they're looking at this. Now, as far as I understand, Alex, Quick Resume is utilizing the system's SSD, but also some cloud service. Am I incorrect in that? I, I think I may be, uh, but I don't. I know the cloud is utilized in some way on Xbox. You know what? I think I'm thinking of when you download a game. Um, if you remember the I believe they're gonna try and do this or they're trying to do this now but when you go to download a game the game will start downloading like the most important stuff first and then you're gonna get to a ready start and then you're gonna basically play the rest through the cloud while the game downloads and then once the games download you you switch to, to playing just playing the game I think that's what I'm thinking of I know that's for sure real uh, I may be curious, but yeah, but I don't think they have a quick resume, and if they do, I don't think they have an up to four to six games that you can do at once. So that is upsetting. I do enjoy it that Xbox does have that because I yeah, and especially when you fully turn it off, unplug it for over twenty four hours, and you just replug it in, and you can go right back to where you're where you're doing. I will. Okay, so I want to talk about the UI for a second. First, it looks relatively the same to me i'll be curious if you share that sentiment alex two why is everything so small really like like why is everything very small i assume you'll be able to change the the tile size if you can't that will be quickly an update i'm sure three i don't like that i can't immediately see trophies but i'm sure this that's i'm sure i'll be easily be able to get to a trophy i just don't like that it's not immediately obvious um, and for it, it still doesn't look like it's as quick as an Xbox screen because it doesn't have a home menu that I can just go to where everything's there. I still have to scroll everywhere to find stuff. But 
Yeah. I will only really be able to give my full concrete impressions when I have it in my hands. Alex, what are your thoughts? I mean, honestly, I like it better than PS4's UI so far. Um, I would... Oh, hmm, would I like this more? Uh, keep talking, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna think. I, li- I, I like it better from PS4's just because I always felt like PS4's UI, like that block feel, like, it, like I don't mind the blocks. But it was just overpowering the screen. Like I, I like, uh, I think that I think that's why they made it smaller too. So like, let's say when you're on your PS4, you have all those squares in the middle of your screen, mm-hmm. and you give it a second to load in, you see every, uh, the stuff that you know pops up to right. show about the game. Right. You can't. Um, the first off, the background you can barely see there, so there's no. Yeah, I. In the background. I definitely understand um, what you're saying. Everything underneath is like you have to scroll mm-hmm. to be able to see everything. So I think with this one having the logos or the the blocks at the top and smaller, it seems cleaner. So mm-hmm. let's say it like how they had the game pop up the destruction, whatever that game was called. I can't remember. All stars. Thank you. That one. Um, everything is already like you can see the background, so you can see what it looks like, and everything's already there, so you're not having to, uh, to scroll anywhere. So I think they just cleaned it up a little bit. And yeah. I like yeah. It better. Yeah. I think I like it better than PS4. Mm. I think I do. I do like. I do agree with you that seeing it all on front is much easier. Whereas before, you do like, all right, let me scroll over. Like, what's over here? Look, <laughs> because really, for me on PlayStation, I look at the first three things and then the very end, and then nothing in between that. The most annoying part. I oh, I hate when I have to go to my library, and I hope this changed no oh, jesus i know exactly what you're about to say go I ahead go to my library i want to re-download a game i have to hit that game but then it pops up a thing and then i have to like i'm trying to find at uh like the add-ons or something and it will it will take me to like three it, it, eventually it takes pretty much three pop-ups for me to even get it done like why can't i just go to the game press download there is a it's a mess even viewing an add-on for a game is also a mess. It's gotten better, but it's still a mess. Why is it so hard to see what is in a game? <laughs> Why or, or what I haven't downloaded or any of that stuff. So why is that such a headache? So I do agree with that. Um, I do... I think I like the interface. <laughs> I'm it, I'm basically at the same point I was when I saw the system, and I'm still at the thoughts with the system. I still don't know if I like it. I don't finally adding a progression thing for the trophies. Right, yes. Now, same thing with Xbox. I believe that is dependent on the developer still. So, with achievements, this is also works on I would say the majority of games use the the progress bar, but it still is dependent on the developer to use that feature. Um and same thing as for trophies. So there are a lot of achievements that do need progressive bars that just aren't used because the developer doesn't care um and the same thing i'm sure will happen at playstation 5 so hopefully more devs use progress bars that honestly don't know why they don't i'm sure they're busy and they don't really care about achievements and trophies but i wish they did take a second to make a good good list and make sure they all have progression in them but who cares um but yeah do you think there's printer settings in this one there's what printer settings do you think printer settings are gonna be a thing in this yeah you remember that ps3 uh i think i think (laughs) you don't remember i can't believe you don't remember that yeah i I used to dog on it all the time because it had a a a printer settings bar i could have i thought you were gonna like help me with the dog bio but you didn't thanks alex thanks wow wow no, I remember the crappy PS3 logos you would have for your profile. The happy face, and then there's a happy face that's a square. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> I faintly remember that stuff. Like, what kind of shit is that? Is that- <laughs> anyway, it's, it's like a happy face uh-huh. or a square happy face, and then you have different colors of that happy face. Yeah, that was weird. But you could buy the avatar. It wasn't that big of them. Uh, no, no, no. Speaking of PlayStation Five, Game Informer took a look at Spider-Man Miles Morales. This is going to be a good bullet point overview of the game. You could, of course, go over to GameInformer.com and read all of the things if you'd like to. There's a very meaty article there. 
that you could read. But I'm going to give you an overview. Um, so there is a, of course, a performance mode on Miles Morales. It is a 4K 60 frames per second. The fidelity mode offers a 4K at 30 frames per second with ray tracing and other improved visuals. There are no loading screens, even when you're fast traveling. Um, uh, let's see. Um, this is just a few story details. Um, it does progress narrative with Peter and Miles. Um, I don't doesn't really specify if you'll be able to play as Peter, but it will. I don't. I, don't, I think there's a chance, but I don't think so either. Um, let's see. It's going to be a lot of um, new, quote unquote, new to Spider Man. Because you are a new Spider-Man, basically, with Miles. So his animations are going to look less fluid and refined, which is interesting. <laughs> um, he's... Oh, right here. Sorry. I, di I did forget about this. They do specifically state he is the only playable character. Sorry. Th so he, he is the only one. Um, whatever this means, there's even bigger set pieces than 2018's Spider-Man. I don't, I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but cool. Um, there are new uh, villains that haven't been announced. There's apparently um, <laughs> um, a suit that you can put on that has a spider cat in your backpack that helps you with finishers. Have you seen this, Alex? Yes, I have. This looks adorable. So this there's basically like a little cat in a backpack. And Miles has an outfit that specifically wears his Spider-Man suit with a backpack on. And the cat is in his backpack, and he, like, meows and reacts to the environment. And then when he does finishers, the cat, like, smacks people in the face. Oh, it's it looks fucking, it looks awesome. Um, <laughs> there's going to be a friendly neighborhood spider app. Players can use touchpad to quickly pick activities, crimes, etc. for Miles' phones without going into a menu. Improved dynamic camera placement during combat, which I, I'm going to hope is good. Because the camera can get a mess in Spider-Man, especially when you were in the uh, gang hideouts, I think is what they're called, Alex. When you were in that giant room, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. Takedowns can be performed from ceilings and walls. Now, you can also go invisible to go back into stealth. Uh, this is when the dual sense come in. You can feel rumble when shooting webs. Triggers then tighten as Miles reaches the end of each swing that's yeah i'm trying to envision what that means so if i f t if i pull pull the trigger down near the end of his swing i guess my how will how like slowly loosen itself how would i f how would i feel the trigger tighten yeah because if you if you, if you because i haven't held if i held held down how do i know it's getting tighter i think what it means by tighten it, i think i think it's like it, like it's slowly loosening itself so it's tightening to where like you can't press it mm. like, like, let's say you have it held down but once you're reaching the end of the swing it's you feel it like it's tighten really really, you, you feel it slowly releasing against you okay it's tightening kind of so because it's going against you and then it let you them it's telling you to let go and then you're gonna hit it again i wonder if i'm gonna like this adaptive trigger thing man i don't know i don't know i really don't know if i'm gonna like this i that sounds cool in theory like like in my opinion vibration like vib <laughs> like vibration is like a good idea but in practice like is whatever to me with the triggers like i, I feel like i'm gonna i'm gonna be like oh it's kind of tighter <laughs> and, then, and then like not really care but I'll, I'll be interested to see if I actually care about it. I don't think I will, though. Um, and then, of course, there is a photo mode. You can customize lighting. There's new selfie poses, stickers, frames, and etc. And like I said, you can, of course, go to the full, 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 full article over on GameInformer.com if you want to read the rest. Alex, I want this game, and I want it now. Hey, we got about uh, two, three weeks. Yeah, yeah, three weeks, three weeks, three. Three weeks to a month. Three weeks. It, it's 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 closer to four weeks. We're like less than thirty days, basically. Oh, for sure. So excited. Oh, can't wait! I cannot wait. Moving on to not really a new story, but I wanted to cover it anyways. Final Fantasy sixteen has completed quote basic development says Square Enix. Um, there's not honestly much here. We got the story. <laughs> not really much here. 
essentially, there is a, a post, a job posting that said that they were finished with basic moment. They're working on boss animations and furthering de- uh, their actual development tools. We have no idea what that means. I wanted to bring it up just because we haven't really talked about Final Fantasy 16 on the podcast yet, really. We kind of gave it a brief overview when it was announced, but I did want to take a second, Alex. Are you bums that we're not getting this on Series X? Or do you do you not care? I know you're not a huge Final Fantasy guy. I mean, I've, I've played a lot of them. No, I know you have, but I know you're not, like, a I huge fan. Mind, I don't mind just because, I mean, they both, I mean they've always done this with a lot of the games i mean a lot of almost all the kingdom hearts used to be on playstation right and then a lot of the uh, final fantasies only used to be on playstation yeah so i mean playing. japan they have a tight japanese yeah so it does bother connection me. It does so bother me. yeah i i would say it, it, i am bothered by it because it's more of a nuisance it's like i want to play it on an xbox but i have the means to where i can get both so i honestly don't care but i do uh am saddened that people with xboxes aren't yeah able to play it yeah, for sure. like a uh, final fantasy 7 remake that reminds me about that where it's like eh, it's, it's lame <laughs> but yeah, whatever if, if i wasn't able to get both systems then yes it would affect me more yeah but in this case now yeah i would be pissed if i didn't have both yeah. uh, i before we get into the next news story alex i did want to bring up something you added to the doc um rockstar buys crackdown 2 developer um what the what, gave me one second they gave me a weird redirect screen this is over on ign rockstar games purchases crackdown 2 developer this is by jordan Ullman. um this, uh, this is going straight from his article rockstar appears to have purchased crackdown 2 developer rufian games taking the studio under his reign and rebounding it as rockstar dundee the news arrives uh thanks to a report from the gamer which noted a series of companies house listings Confirming the acquisition and name change, the page for Rockstar Dundee lists 10 major filings, all on October 6th, which include the name change, a change of registered address, take two interactive software, assuming significant control of the company, and a series of new employees being confirmed as directors of the studio. Studio head Gary Linden and creative director Billy Thompson co-founded Ruffian Games in 2008, but both appear to have left the company in the wake of the acquisition with filings pointing to the cessation of their position as directors at the studio and loss of significant control. Huh. I... Uh, oh, and also to point out, the Crackdown 2, they also worked on Connect Star Wars and Halo Chief, uh, Halo Master Chief Collection and Crackdown 3. Uh, okay. I am happy that they... I think there's talent there. I liked Crackdown 2. I liked 3 fine. Um, I think there's talent there, and I think they'll be better utilized in someone like Rockstar taking control and basically paving a way for them. Yeah. Um, do you have any specific intel on this, Alex? Um, no, I just thought I was in- interested in uh, when I saw that it said uh, Rockstar purchase the, the, the developer. Mm-hmm. My, my only thought was like, why yeah that is a big why I guess they and maybe potential? well there's also a possibility of um why not they could be cheap and it is rockstar and they are they are stupid rich so it is it might be a case of i mean why not they probably spent what less than five hundred thousand dollars on acquiring all of these people maybe they got to a million but I mean, they made Crackdown three, so like they're not. I don't think anyone's clamoring to work with them again. Um, so maybe they want to do a Crackdown type GTA game. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I doubt that. I think I think Rockstar already had a planned game for them, probably, or they bought them and were like, "Hey, what are you going to work on next?" Or they bought them for whatever they're working on next. Well, it says there was a there was a tweet from Ruffian Games. Posted back in October 2019. Yeah. They were working on unspecified titles for Rockstar. Yeah, yeah. So they probably liked what they saw and went, hey, we like what we see. We're buying you. So so whatever they're working on, they liked it, so they bought them. Um, Exciting to see what they actually come out with. Uh, I liked Crackdown 2 better than what most people did. Uh, But it was weird when they suddenly changed from gangs to zombies. (laughs) I I remember hearing that and be like, what? Okay, whatever uh moving on to that good good called xbox game pass we of course have 
more games coming to Game Pass. You went blank for a second. I couldn't hear you. Oh, did you? Uh, I can still. That's weird. Um, I still have uh, secondary recording, so we should be okay. We should be okay. Audience, are you okay? I think they're okay. That's good to hear. That's good to hear. All right, moving on. Um, as far as I hope everyone heard me, if you didn't, we're talking about Xbox Game Pass and what's coming to console and PC for the next coming months. So, starting from the top, Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition comes to Xbox Game Pass on PC October 15th. Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition completes the celebration of one of the most beloved real-time strategy franchises in definitive form command mighty civilizations from across europe and americas or jump to the battlefields of asia in stunning 4k ultra hd graphics with a fully remastered soundtrack experience two new game modes including all previously released expansions and 14 civilizations plus two brand new civilizations the swedes and inca return to adventure with this final chapter in the age of empires definitive edition journey heave ho also coming to pc on game pass October 15th, grab one another's hand, climb across dangling bodies, and swing your pounds to safety in a wobbly, dangling mass of limbs. Heave hoes tasks up to four players with a simple goal. Don't fall to your death. Players will use their own... Oh, sorry, I didn't read that right. <laughs> sorry. Don't fall to your death! There we go. There's an exclamation point there. Players will use their two hands and outstretched grip for their friend to grapple across each level on their way to victory. Customize your character with the stylish accessories. A vain attempt to remember which of your hands is the only thing between you and the plummet of doom. Alex, do you remember this next game? Katana Zero. Katana Zero is a game that I did not shut the hell up about. I believe it was last year. This game is fantastic. I played it on the Switch when it came out. I want to say, I want to say it came out early last year, but I finally played it mid last year, maybe late last year. I had a fan. It is a fantastic game. I cannot repeat i cannot recommend this enough take a second especially if you have game pass if not buy it and play this game this is an incredible experience so fun so addicting and the story turns are so much fun and there's no excuse because you can literally play it on console pc or mobile there you go you don't have an excuse jerry jerry you don't have an excuse go buy it Katana Zero is a stylish neo-noir action platformer featuring breakneck action and an instant death combat. Slash dash and manipulate time to unravel your past. In a beautiful brew acrobatic display, each level is uniquely designed for countless methods of completion. Defeat foes creatively using spontaneous approaches to eliminate your enemy as you see fit. Alex, you're a Tails guy. Read the next one. I don't give a shit about this. Tales of Vespera Definitive Edition. Console PC October 15th. The fate of the two friends will collide in an epic journey that threatens the existence of the world in Tales of Hesperia Defini- Definitive Edition. Jesus. Uh, you didn't read that right. That had an exclamation point. You have to, you have to give it, like, flair. I'm not doing that again. <laughs> Our ship begins with a civilization depending on an ancient no- technology, the Blastia, and the empire that controls it. Relive the most beloved tales of, titled Beautifully Remastered in HD, with new playable characters, new stories, and more special attacks. You like this? This is what you want? You want the Blastia and the Empire that controls it. What? What does this even mean? I never played Vesperia. I played Viseria. I like Viseria. I heard this was good, though. It probably is. The Swords of Ditto Mormo's Curse comes to PC on Game Pass October 15th. (laughs) <laughs> the, the a compact action rpg that creates a unique adventure for each new hero of legend in the relentless fight against the evil mormo <laughs> how, how can i be how can i be like scared of someone named mormo the evil mormo <laughs> i am your death mormo is like what explore a delightful but dangerous overworld brave menacing dungeons and improve your hero in a charming village during your quest to over oh this is a bad sentence sure. during your quest to overcome the evil that plagues the island grab a co-op friend for an unforgettable adventure filled with delightful characters extraordinary loot and heroic battles uh, you do the next one scourgebringer console from the developers of near avoider scourgebringer is a fast-paced free-moving uh roguelite platformer much like a crossbreed between Dead Cells and Celeste. <laughs> it's a post-apocalyptic world where mysterious entity wreaked havoc on all humanity. Scourgebringer 
puts you in the shoes of a deadliest warrior in her clan, Kira. Help her explore the unknown slash in her, and or in slash her way through ancient machines, guardian the seal of her past and maybe the redemption of, of humanity. I love when the game goes, we're like these two really good games, play us. <laughs> it's like, we're like Dead Cells and Celeste. It's like, I don't know. Yeah, try, trying really hard. Oh, yeah, this is for me. <laughs> Cricket 19 comes to the Game Pass on console October 22nd. The official game of the 2019 Ashes Championship. Who could forget? Is a complete cricket simulation. Featuring a suite of exciting all-new features that add even greater depth and rich new content to Big Ant Studios' acclaimed Cricket Engine. <laughs> what is cricket simulation? <laughs> Tackle historic historical scenarios for classic matches through the ages develop the care the career of a junior right through to national captaincy participate in a fully licensed ashes cricket mode or lead your nation to the great sword championship in the classic 50 over one day mode <laughs> my favorite part of this was big ant studios acclaimed cricket engine who could forget who could forget big ants cricket engine uh, save the red stick figure village in this hit first person open world action puzzle platform oh, that's a lot of words <laughs> right roam and explore a grand interconnected world unlock new versatile abilities and combine them to overcome imaginative puzzles or uncover shrouded secrets defeat charging hordes in fast frenetic first person combat as you battle your way for an uh, audience with the Blue King, Superland is the ultimate sandbox adventure game and offers players of all ages a unique take on puzzles, exploration, and an adventure. All right. By the way, that's I, that's a console for uh, Game Pass on console October twenty second. Wait, wait, wait a minute. Wait. What? 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 So, it's first thing. It says it's a first person. <laughs> action puzzle platform that's it that that's like <laughs> then it says it's it's the ultimate sandbox adventure game and all that is true so what is it i mean it can it can adventure game open world adventure games be platformers yeah, so this is <laughs> platformer is, is said to be like you can only go like to a, a certain way it's not it's not supposed to be a well there's 3d platformers but they're not this they're not always they're not supposed to be great world, right? yeah so that's it <laughs> this is very interesting i all right we're doing it we're looking up a trailer for super lane because these are a lot of words happening all at once and i need to know what they all mean i don't understand how an open world and a platformer could be in the same thing and we there's only there's only one way to find out. Alex. <laughs> We're looking it up. Uh, let's do the release date trailer for PlayStation. Give me one sec to start up what I'm doing here. Uh, I found release date trailer for Superland. Yeah, I'm I'm doing the PlayStation one. Mm, okay. Okay. Found, Give me a second. I found, the, I found the Xbox one. Oh damn it! I'm doing the PlayStation one. Look at you. I don't. I feel dumb now. I'm a, I'm a. Hopefully we don't. I don't think people copyright stuff like this. So I'm. Gonna, I'm actually gonna turn the volume on for this. What the hell? All right. So I'm. I'm playing this. Oh God, that was terrifying. Why is this? Why, why did he look so lifelike? How is this a platformer? This platform right there, Alex. He's by the purple mm -hmm. platform. So you jump on something. So is that technically everything's? <laughs> They're using the word platformer very loosely. Okay. Whoa! He just made a cube on that gentleman's head. I'm not gonna lie. It looks interesting. It does look kind of cool. <laughs> the, the, the farther in the trailer I get, the more I'm like. Whoa! Oh, get a cool. get a rocket launcher now. Oh, you know, just wait. Jesus! Just wait. You're what is this? Is that a sniper rifle? What? The Whoa, you can make a bridge. That's cool. <laughs> right? <laughs> this is interesting. This is okay. This this won me. <laughs> this won me over. <laughs> Whoa! Uh, it, this it's looks cool. Humble games. Humble Bundle, they, they, they do pretty good stuff. Yeah, yeah, of course. October 22nd, 2020 is the release date if you want to pick it up on anything but Game Pass. 
And then, of course, it does come day and date to Game Pass, right? And, yeah, it does. So it comes day and date to Game Pass uh, for consoles. That actually did look kind of fun. I may download that when it comes out to try it out. Um, uh, but, yeah, the, <laughs> it was funny that when you pointed that out because I didn't think about it. But, yeah, you were like, platformer? What? <laughs> uh, moving on. Well, this is just general DLC updates. We're going to go over from top to bottom. Black Desert Succession update. If, if you're a fucking nerd, you can talk about Black Desert. Succession skills are finally available in Black Desert. Yay! This free update will bring you back to your roots by giving you a powerful new skills focused on original weapons of your class. The first four classes that will be granting succession skills are Warrior, Ranger, Sorcerers, and Berserker. Okay, I didn't expect them to, <laughs> to write that out, but they did. You want to cover this next one? Destiny 2, Festival of the Lost. Grab a mask and join the party by braving the haunted forest and collecting new rewards. A new exotic sparrow, ship, and ghost are all wrapped up and ready for your collection. There are also new triumphs to unlock, new masks to wear, and more chances to get a perfect roll with the new perk possibilities of the Braytech Werewolf and a horror story horror story auto rifles. Interesting. Can you imagine not knowing what Destiny is and just hearing all that and be like, what did you just say to me? <laughs> You're like just werewolves? <laughs> uh, Doom Eternal Halloween 2020 uh, lasts until October 29th, which is weird. That it ends before Halloween. Okay. Yeah, uh, Halloween 2020 as wait. Oh, okay. Sorry. Halloween 2020 is. I thought it was like as in. Oh, it was like no. That's not. A site, but it, no, they actually wrote it correctly. Halloween 2020 is an in-game event running until October 29th. Features cosmetics, icons, and nameplates that players can earn by playing campaign and battle mode. Completing weekly challenges, which gets refreshed every Thursday, just so you know, guys, is the fastest way for players to level up through these events. I never went back to this game. I played uh, Doom Eternal, like, all the way through. And I was like, all right, I'm done. Yeah, no, I stopped. I got bored. I got all the collectibles, though, which was fun. I think I, I got I doomed myself out because I played all the first one and then I started this one. I'm like, nah, I'm good. I'm going to do these next two because I know the games. Overcooked 2 Moon Harvest Festival. Oh, a don't. You don't because you don't play any of them. Free update out now. Get ready to prepare, cook, and serve new recipes with Overcooked 2 Moon Harvest Festival. Bringing a new lily pad mechanic. It's sure to give players something to shout about. It gave me something to shout about, so I shouted about it. The update is available free for all players with the base game Overcooked 2. Since you know State of Decay so much, Alex, read the next one. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're going to sit in silence. This will include the first ever level... Le lever? I thought I read that wrong. Lever action weapons and necessary inclusion for a proper cowboy update. Difficulty sliders allow players to customize their difficulty along independent gameplay axes. Axes include combat, mat, and, simula and simulation difficulties, r ranging from green, <laughs> which is easy, to nightmare. What color? What, what is that? I know, right? They didn't tell us the color for that one. Is is it is it the the color of it nightmare? <laughs> Why did you say one color and not the other one? <laughs> what the? F <laughs> Matt, but easy looting we've now got you covered that doesn't seem fair well it's not um see i don't have a problem with that because it's not like you can place against someone right like multiplayer wise so i'm fine with that but you dress it like a cowboy like a little cowboy and shoot pew, pew pew we played this for a while and then we just stopped e well i mean i played it till like you're done and then i got i was done uh -huh. You know what I mean? See, I was, I was doing it, and I think you finished, and then you got off, and I'm like, all right, I'm done. <laughs> by You're like, I'm by myself with like this. <laughs> yeah. All right. Now this is hilarious, but I'm gonna I'm gonna read what it is for. So <laughs> yes, yeah, so yeah. Xbox Game Pass Ultimate Perks. Just in case you don't remember, you can of course get Xbox Game Pass Ultimate Perks if you have the Game Pass Ultimate subscription active for that month. You can claim the myriad of rewards you get every single month. They do have a limit to them, so make sure you get them before the expiration date. Starting with the first one. Forza Horizon 4. 
<laughs> Launched October 14th. So it says get four, but it's slashed out and says get three. Okay. Get three amazing cars to explore the beautiful world of Forza Horizon 4 with the Road Trip Bundle, which is in bold. Includes the, and this is crossed out, 2005 Honda. Why Why is, why didn't they delete it? <laughs> they don't want you to get that car for free. It's 2011, who? let's try. I got you, I got you. You got the Kony Segagera. Kony Segagera. Yeah, Jesus. I knew the car already, so. 2010 Pagani Zondas R. <laughs> Uh, Pagani. 1938 Maserati 8 CTF. There you go. I nailed it. So you can claim that basic bundle and get them in game. Oh, that's funny. Sigagera. Sigagera. <laughs> All right. And this is everything leaving us. Unfortunately, yeah. with great power comes great responsibility. There are things leaving us. Leaving October 15th, Felix the Ripper. This is on both console and PC. Met. Joe 2033 Redux console and PC Minute console and PC Saints Row 4 Reelected PC State of Mind PC That's everything gone for the 15th If you want to play them before then Which by the way these are all gone already <laughs> I just realized because it's the 16th today But these are already gone But if you would have redeemed them You could have popped them at a lower price Because they're in Game Pass This is everything leaving in the future October 30th after Party on console, Lego Star Wars 3 on console, Rise and Shine on console, Tacoma, which is a fantastic game, both console and PC, play that before it leaves, or buy it, Lord of the Rings Adventure Card Game console and PC, The Red Strings Club on PC. Remember, all of these are leaving, so you can either A, play them and be done with them, or B, if you want to keep them past the th uh, October 30th, Buy them at the discounted price. They're 20% off if you have a Game Pass active while you do the purchase. Alex, that's the news for Xbox Game Pass. We have one more to leave with you. And this is everyone's favorite date update. The Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory demo is live, and I'm playing that tomorrow. Yes. I forgot about it. Not going to lie. But I'm going to play it tomorrow. It comes out December 3rd. The game, I think. That sounds right. I think that was announced. I, I, I like the, I like the, there was a tweet about it. What? What was, um, it, what was their tweet? It was a tweet about the game, and it was uh, Nomura saying, it's like... What did he want? Um, the what? No, I was, I'm being an asshole. I was like, what does he want? Oh, he was saying, if, for people who are, love Kingdom Hearts or have never played it, or if you like rhythm games or you suck at them, Please go try this. <laughs> November 11th is the re release date. So we can play this on our Series X, Alex. Yeah, yes we can. Um, I have a close friend on Twitter. And when I say close friend, she's a celebrity that I just follow. And she doesn't know who I am. But her name is Mika Burton. She also loves Kingdom Hearts. She said she loved the demo. Really? Yes, she did. She said she loved it. And she's a hardcore fan. So this excites me, I think. I, if I had to guess, I'm pretty sure I'm going to like this. It's kind of hard to know if you'll actually like this. I'm assuming you'll like it, Alex, because you did like a Guitar Hero a lot. Mm. I mean, well, it's crazy because there's 140 tracks in the game. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, that's right. Shit. Yeah, because, like, it's almost every song, right? It's every song from every game. That's wild. Wild. And the uh, Orchestra World Tour, there's a uh, one... There's a, the uh, Destiny from that one. Oh, that's dope, dude. Dude, if the opening cinematic is in that, I'm gonna cry all over again. That was such a good yeah, orchestra. Whole, there's, yeah, there's a whole list of all those songs that are on there. Dope. Look it up if you need to. We will be holding our breath until that comes out. But forget about that, Alex. I want to know what you have queued up for the week. This can, of course, be anything: a, a game, a TV show. A video game show or book comic graphic novel anything what do you have queued up alex hmm. what day is this, this <laughs> what day is this ah oh, good question good question alex i'm trying to think because it's friday i actually went back to infamous first light because i actually never played it hmm um, did you like that so I actually, because 
because I, I'm liking it so far, and I uh, was reading that it's actually an easy platinum, so I want to go for it. And okay. Just do everything, and so far I've gotten like half of the collectibles, kind of. Okay. Like it's actually not hard. I've just been running around, and it's actually fun playing as fetch. Uh, which is if any, nobody's ever played first light if and if you played infamous sun it's the chick with the light powers um, um neon jeez all right neon whatever there's a huge difference okay pink neon powers yes. <laughs> yeah but no she's pretty cool uh, i like the way she moves and stuff I, honestly i didn't think i'd miss playing infamous and i do and i will, i would just wish they would remaster one and two oh speaking of remasters there was a mass effect remaster thing i don't we know it's coming, so I didn't think we had to cover it. But just in case, yeah, we knew we knew it was gonna. I mean, it's not even coming till next year, isn't it? Um, that's the rumor. I mean, it's yeah. basically confirmed now. Uh, the the rumor in quotes is uh, in seven day, which is um November seventh. They're going to announce the remaster, and it's going to be announced probably for beginning of next year, and they'll show off like what it looks like and stuff. So November seventh. We are gonna be shown the Mass Effect remaster, and it's good. I'm gonna fuck. I'm gonna cry. Okay. I'm going okay. to cry. On, on N7 day, they're gonna be like, okay, it's gonna be, it's gonna release on release day. Oh, uh, that'd be dope. Right. That'd be dope playing it. Play my first game on Series X would be Mass Effect. Then. Yep. God, you if you guys think I'm annoying about Mass Effect now, just fucking just wait until I'm playing it again. Jesus, fun. Jesus, Alex, I got. A little thing queued up not, not nothing crazy i do need to watch the new superman movie and the new batman movie uh, um so the the new superman one, uh, the new superman one is one? man of tomorrow yeah yeah you're always on top of these things um but yeah I'm, I'm watching man of tomorrow and then i need to watch batman death of the family this is one of the rare times where i've already read the comic so I'll be interested to see what happens. Mm. It's a very good comic too, so I'll yeah. be interested in, in what goes on. Alex, yeah, I thank you for taking your time for me today. That was a great show. We talked about some UIs. We talked about Game Pass. We shit on Sony a little bit. That's always good. Thank you for coming by. Remember, you can, of course, check us out every single Friday on youtube or podcast service of your choice you can give us a like comment subscribe or you can share us with one of your friends you know that weird dude that you kind of want to like give a peanut butter to jelly sandwich to because because he always talks about ha wanting one but doesn't have peanut butter or jelly give us to that guy it will make his day and you can of course if you like us even more than that and you have a dollar to spare you can of course Head over to patreon.com slash CG Achievers. You can give us a dollar. That, of course, accesses to all of our tiers. That also gives you access to our private messaging service. You can PM us anything from silly comments, making fun of Alex's stupid face, or you can give us any critiques on the show or a question that we can cover on the show itself. Or you can make fun of Alex's feet, too. He likes when you make fun of his feet. Elijah's favorite Disney movie is the new Mulan. <laughs> it is. Come after me. Could you imagine if it really was, though? I, w I kind of wish just so I could, like, piss a lot of people off. <laughs> could you imagine, like, the amount of people that would be really upset at me? That would be hilarious, dude. Mm -hmm. Hilarious. On that note, thank you for coming. Go watch the new Mulan. <laughs> I think I covered everything. Um, we should have the monthly Patreon exclusive up in the next few days but until then Kajif.